man, it was a real paradise. And life was really um, like part of nature, I would say. The culture, the lifestyle was totally different and it way healthier than today. So as far as I remember, uh, every day I'm in the rice field. Like since, uh, as, soon as, as soon as I can walk, I was in the field and playing with frogs and fish. And in the laboratory, man's mind has long been pitted against his enemies. From his modern chemistry, biology, and dedicated research, have come thousands of effective chemical compounds, all to help revolutionize the productivity of our own agriculture. Later on, and when finally the, the chemical farming and the hybrid came to the village, and it was like really bad, it was shocking. I remember when we went out uh, after the chemical uh, farming, it was really horrible a sight because you see these eels, they're all floating and they're all rotten and dead and the frog and the fish and it smelled really bad. It was like so horrible. I still remember the, the, the uh, you know, uh, the feeling. It was really, really like I was shocked because I was really disappointed. I was still a, a child and I'm thinking that I know it's wrong. I mean, looking at all these things are, are the sterile, you know, the environment being sterile, you know, and, and all these dead creatures. And, and I felt that there were no more like this fun life where you part of nature and you benefited from nature. Balinese culture, though it worked in preserving Hinduism, it was designed in the year 1041. <laughs> Super ancient, right? <laughs> so, so ancient. It, today, like, in, from the environmental side, it cannot support this tradition anymore. Since I was very little boy, I already want to uh, have like kind of organization or movement or whatever you call it that sharing the uh, knowledge and the experience of natural way of living. Tri Hita Karana is um, is uh, uh, it's a Sanskrit tree meaning three, and then Hita meaning uh, like a, a two meaning it can be uh, prosperity and happiness. And then karana is uh, the path and the how. So the first one is you have to be harmony with human being. You have to be harmony with the nature, and you have to be harmony with the spirituality. And if you can do that, and you be uh, very happy. <laughs> so. I always encourage farmers to grow uh, heritage rice, but nearly every time farmers say back to me, it's too long, and it's always, and oh man, you get so frustrated because it's true. The hybrid is only take three months. The, uh, the red rice took six months. It's always like, why is it too difficult? And finally, uh, one of the farmer, he was one of the participants from Taro village, so when we the time to go and uh, and, and and site visit to see his, uh, how he's getting with his new system, we discover the new this variety. Rediscover it's always this variety of rice always grown in Taro, but Taro being very isolated villages, no road getting in there, like no proper road, and things grow there, it doesn't get spread. So in 2007, after the workshop, we went there and we discovered this Mangkok variety. What's interesting about the mangkok uh, variety of rice is that it, it only takes three months and 20 days, so that's a that's kind of a medium. It'll be easier for those farmers which rely on this three-month cycle hybrid rice to switch back over to a heritage variety of rice if it only takes three months. 
So when we discovered that, and I was I was over the moon, and you know, as I was so frustrated because farmers always say the heritage rice was take too long. So this time we got this rice, and and it was so great, and I just spread them all over. Karena padi mangkok itu dari zaman dulu sudah sudah ada. Ini tidak hybrid. Ini lokal. Padi mangkok, padi lokal, sangat bagus untuk ditanam secara turun temurun. This Taro village is the first place where the farming area start in Bali. Very very expensive actually when they are. I think we, until today, we probably already covering about 900 farmers. We already go around and spread like more like a sustainable way of farming. We will continue. We continue to do the same thing. We never give up. <laughs> Permaculture is a kind of new name for something very old. It's a way of living in harmony with our environment, which we've, over time, you know, we've lost the knowledge of how to look at nature, how to see where the sun is and where the wind is coming and utilize those energies that are available to us. And I think Bali's hungry for that. Yeah. It needs it, you know.